video, we are going to see how we can import cat files in Rhino by using Grasshopper. For that, I already created a clean cat file as we can see. This is a NotaCat file for a housing project which has two floorings, but we are only extruding one of them. Just to show you how this method works, so I will turn off the layer called buildings. I'm going to see that all the surrounding buildings are turned off. This means that all the related content is linked to one layer. So let's go back to Grasshopper. To retrieve the file that I'm going to type file path. After selecting the command, I'm going to right click and set one existing file. Here I'm going to select the location of the file. Then I'm going to type import and select import TVDM. Let's connect the file path to our command and we can see that our file is connected to Grasshopper. If I zoom out, we can see the entire file. The good thing is here when I update the AutoCAD file, I can see everything updated in Rhino as well. So if I go back to the CAD file and delete one furniture, I save the file and I can see the update on Grasshopper. Many time I can go back to the drawing and press Ctrl Z and save again. I can see the previous version of the drawing. Since we are working with layers, I can show you how we can select specific layers from AutoCAD. So if I go back to the drawing, I want to see the building layer. For that, in Grasshopper, I can type panel and double click on that panel to type the name of the desired layers. After connecting this panel to the input of 3DM import command, I can see that only this layer is imported. This method is not always the best way to import the layer because, for example, if you were to be typing buildings, when the caps lock off and connect this panel once again, nothing will be imported. So instead, I will show you another way that we can work on. For that, I need to import the layer information from AutoCAD file. To do it, I will go to the CAD folder and select the layer state manager. Here I already have a name for the layer state and I will show you how you can create your own for that. If I press new, I can directly give a name to the current layer state. After that, I can press on export and select the location on my desktop to save the file. So from here, we have already prepared everything that we needed from the AutoCAD file. So in Grasshopper, I will create another file path and select the current layer state file that I saved. And if I type read file, I'm going to connect this command to our file path. If I create another panel and connect it to the output of the read file command, I will be seeing the information in that file. So the information includes every detail about the layer state but we only need the names of the layers. For that, we can see that our first layer starts on the 15th place, our second layer is on the 29th position, and in between them, there is an information about the layer properties. So I can select the information that I need by typing list item command. The first layer that I want to see is in the 15th position, so I get the number slider according to that. If I connect it to the input, then, I will be listing only that layer name. So we can see that each layer name is positioned after some certain number starts from 15, continues to 29 and 43. This shows a logical parameter that helps us to make a selection. I need to type series in this case. First, I will select 15, which is the first layer name position. It will be the start point of the series. Then I will be typing 29, which is our second number. So if I use subtraction command, I will have the steps between this positioning. And finally, I need to know how many layers are on the cat file. In my case, I have 15 and I can take it as a number slider and connect it to the count input of the series. We can see the result of the series by using the panel again. If I connect this result to the list item component, I will be seeing the layer names as an output. And I can see all these layers listed as geometry in Grasshopper. So if I want to select one specific layer, 
I can use list item component again and connect it to the layer name information that we have. As you can see, now it's easier to select the layer that I want to work on by using Grasshopper. So let's connect the web component to create the surface from this layer. We can give a name to our surface now in this case. I'm going to use the name of the layer. I can use the extrude command to create a 3D model of the flooring. Here I'm going to type a random number to create the thickness of the flooring. I'm using a millimetric unit, so I type for example 800. I'm going to connect the input to a negative number because I want to create first flooring under the seaplane. So I can copy and paste the same script as much as I want to be able to build the walls or the windows based on the layers. So for the exterior walls, I'm going to type 3000. And rename the surface as walls. In Rhino, we can observe how easy to use this method. For example, if you were to change the height of the walls, it will be so simple. I can create the interior walls in the same way as it will only take a change in the layer name. So by using the same method, I'm going to create some openings for the windows by a specific layer that I already created in AutoCAD drawing. So after all, I'm going to move the flooring that we created to the top of this model. And I'm going to change only the thickness when I'm using the extrusion command. So let's turn off everything. And use custom preview command to give a more solid look to our model. Now I'm only going to connect the extruded poly surfaces. Finally, we can take a look at what we created so far. We can also change the color of the preview option. So in this video, I showed you the basic way to create a 3D model based on AutoCAD file. We can use this information in our projects, even when it's complicated than what we have right now in here. Thank you.